Hi there, my name is Ryan Malloy. In this video, we are going to discuss how to find the height of a trapezoid using the Pythagorean theorem. So, let's draw what is known as an altitude from one of the top vertices down to the bottom base. An altitude is simply a line that is perpendicular to the base. And the length of that will be the height of our trapezoid. Now you'll notice that this shape right here is a right triangle. And so we can use Pythagorean theorem to determine the height. But only if we know this, which we'll call the base, the length from this vertex to the point where the altitude crosses the base, and assuming we also know the length of this side, which we'll just call A, A for awesome. So, redraw the triangle over here. We have A, B, and H, where A is the hypotenuse, and B and H are legs. The Pythagorean theorem tells us that A squared equals B squared plus H squared. So now what we want is to rewrite this formula to solve explicitly for h. So let's just subtract b squared from both sides. So we get a squared minus b squared equals h squared. And from here, we can just take the square root of both sides. The square root of a squared minus b squared equals h. And there we have it. If you want to determine the height of a trapezoid and you know these two pieces of information, all you need to do is calculate the square root of a squared minus b squared. My name is Ryan Malloy, and we've just discussed how to find the height of a trapezoid using the Pythagorean theorem. Mm -hmm.